In some states here in Germany, the new school year has begun and with a return to classroom instruction, the government is pushing for children over 12 to get vaccinated against COVID-19. It's a controversial appeal because the country's vaccine authority hasn't yet recommended the jabs for 12 to 17-year-olds. This 12-year-old is finally getting a shot. Accompanied by his parents, he's getting vaccinated at the end of his school holidays, just before heading back to the classroom. So far, only about one in five young people have had their first jab in Germany. The health ministry wants to change that by making the process much easier. We now have enough vaccine doses, and there are two different types of vaccines that have been approved for this age group, BioNTech Pfizer and Moderna. In light of this, we're confident in our next step. Germany's vaccine authority has not yet recommended immunizing 12 to 17-year-olds. However, many health experts have long pointed to international studies which highlight the benefits. The data is so overwhelmingly in favor of immunizing children, and it would be an absolute tragedy if the Delta variant got into the classrooms. It's time to move ahead even without the official recommendation. The vaccine authority says there's still not enough data. It says it's working as quickly as it can, but it also points to another issue. This whole discussion is ignoring the real problem, which is getting all of the 18 to 59-year-old age group fully immunized. This will actually be the real deciding factor of the so-called fourth wave. Also some good news for at-risk groups. From September on, they will be able to get a booster shot. And those who had either the AstraZeneca or Johnson & Johnson vaccines will also be eligible for a shot with an mRNA vaccine. For more on this, I'm now joined by DW Chief Political Correspondent Melinda Crane. And Melinda, as we heard, Germany is going to be offering booster shots for people considered at risk. Is that expected to help the country stop a possible fourth wave of infections? Certainly, that's the hope. In fact, infection rates have been creeping up here in Germany uh, for recent weeks. So these booster shots are designed to protect those with vulnerable immune systems, those who, despite vaccination, would be most susceptible to what's called a breakthrough infection, especially with the uh, very contagious Delta variant of COVID. So the, is, the intention here is not only to protect uh, these vulnerable people, but also to ensure that the country's health systems don't become overburdened. Uh, the German government is uh, apparently now sidestepping the country's vaccine commission by pushing vaccinations for youngsters at 12 and older. How are people reacting to that? So far, there hasn't been that much reaction. And until now, many parents and even pediatricians have been somewhat hesitant about uh, vaccinating younger people. Just 20 percent of Germany's 12 to 19-year-olds have gotten the jab so far. So the fact is, much of the pressure to get young people vaccinated is actually coming from politicians. And they're reacting to two things. First of all, schools are reopening, as you said. And parents are anxious and frustrated that not enough has been done to reduce overall risks in the schools and avoid renewed school closures. Secondly, the country uh, and the politicians in particular are facing a dilemma about how to overcome an overall lag in the vaccination campaign in general. Other countries are talking about making vaccination mandatory, but even incentives to get the jab are problematic here in Germany due to this country's Nazi-era history of medical abuses. Politicians don't want to be seen as compelling citizens to submit to a medical procedure. So, in a sense, to avoid and sidestep that dilemma, I think there's a certain degree of actionism here in regard to getting young people vaccinated. Melinda Crane there. Thank you very much. Yeah.